guys. So today's video I am doing a lot sooner than I was going to do. I had other videos planned, um, some requested videos that I was going to do for you guys, but I really wanted to get rid of this. So I wanted to hurry up and do a video about it so that I could return it. And it is the very expensive Natasha Denona palette, her star palette. Um, I purchased this palette for $169. It's very nice. I mean, it has very nice packaging, but I just don't like it. I've used it for about a week now. Ever since I got it, I've been using it every day to see how it performed. And every day I keep thinking, no, I really want to like it. I'm going to try this different eyeshadows. No, I, I, I'm going to try this way. I'm going to try this way. I'm going to try a different primer. I'm going to try this way. And I just can't find myself liking it. Now, they are very pretty shades. It's a very, very, very pretty palette. Let me show you. It's very, very pretty palette, as you can see. But when you're talking $169 for an eyeshadow palette, you're dang right, I'm gonna be very picky. So you just want the best when you're spending that kind of money on an eyeshadow palette. Um, so I'm gonna go over the reasons why I will be returning this. Okay, so it does have really pretty shades. I love all the shades. That's not, I don't have a problem with all the shades. And I don't have a problem with them being opaque. My problem is, is they're not the easiest to blend. Like the matte shades, when you're blending them into your crease, it takes me a lot longer and a lot more work to blend them into my crease. Also, they are super, super messy. Like I, I am so Nazi when it comes to my palettes. I'm just weird, like I'll wipe in between. Like I just like my palettes being clean and I don't like the other colors being compromised by other colors because dust is getting everywhere. And this palette, even when I opened it and got it, it was a mess. And as I've used it, it's just a mess. I'm gonna get you guys up close and you can see how messy this palette is. I mean, I would barely touch the shades and it would just go everywhere. So you can, Imagine if the fallout in the palette is that terrible, the fallout on your eyes is gonna be just as terrible. This shade, for instance, I tried to work with it. I used the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I got my brush wet to make sure that everything was compact and I was applying it where it wasn't just loose everywhere. And it still, it, was, it got all over my face and I tried to brush it off with a brush and you couldn't brush it off with a brush. So it's this color and this color right here that have the most glitter in it, these two right here, that are just a mess. These colors are just a mess. I can't emphasize enough, when you're spending $169, you want it to be like butter. You want it to blend out effortlessly. You don't want fallout all over your face. I just, I don't understand why on earth a palette would be this much. I just don't understand it. Um, I think there are some very good dupes for some of the interesting shades in here that you could get for a fraction of the cost. And I'll go through some of those shades like this. What is this one called? Orion. So this shade right here that's kind of like a greeny brown. I'll swatch it on my hand. It's kind of more of a brown. It looks more green but it's a duochrome, green-brown. Now I have two dupes that you could do for that. I have a ColourPop eyeshadow in Partridge, and then the other dupe that I have for it, this is the Natasha Denona Star, this is the ColourPop, and this one is Inglot Pure Pigment number 85. So as you can see, they're very similar. I usually actually use that because color pops cream and then I'll put Inglot on top to kind of intensify it and it kind of brings it to that. Um, some other shades in the palette that I love is this shade right here. What is this shade called? Bellatrix. It's this one right here. It's a very, very pretty color. And here's color pop in Lala that's almost identical to it. They, I mean, it just, there's nothing in here that says, oh yay, I'm glad I spent $169 on this palette. Nothing. Nothing in here is special. It's not even where it's like, oh yeah, it blends really good and the colors are interesting. I'm going to keep it just to have it in my collection. Okay. Um, the other thing that I do not like about this palette, I just think it's staple in palettes. It bothers me when palettes don't have a light shade that you can sweep all over your eye 
or a black shade like or a dark 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 gray shade that you can either use for a liner or to kind of deepen the crease it does have a dark brown shade but even that shade is not that dark and it doesn't apply that dark so all in all guys don't waste your money on it I think that I think there are plenty of Morphe palettes that you could probably get if you're really liking the color scheme like there are some interesting colors this gold one is very very pretty I'll swatch it for you and I really think if it's the shades that you're going for, then I would probably check out a Morphe website or ColourPop. You'll buy them individual, but ColourPop um, individuals are what, five bucks? This thing's 169. Now, if you're going for luxury, like I want a nice luxury product, I would skip this and maybe try Marc Jacobs, Tom Ford. I don't think that Natasha Denona is that great. I honestly don't, I don't understand why it's that expensive. And yeah. That's how I feel about that palette. And I kind of wanted to do this video quickly so that I could return it because that's how much I don't like it. I'd rather return it for something not $169 that's probably gonna perform better. So back in the package it goes, back to Sephora it goes because it was not good. And I really recommend you not waste your money on that palette. That was it, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.